Hello everybody and today we are going to unbox a, a few cars. So these are the the cars that I've been accumulating since like early December. And yeah I thought I would like uh, unbox them on a video. Um, I got um, some cash for Christmas so I'll be buying some other stuff that hopefully you will see pretty soon on the channel. But for now we have these cars to open, so let's see, um, where do I start? I start with K because I think she is the, uh, the least interesting one. Because she's basically a repaint of Sterling, so yeah, I guess we'll start from with her. So... Here she is, let me focus. She's one of the circus cars from the Cars on the Road show. She looks like a zebra with some purple paint on like the, the bottom. She's pretty much the same she has pretty much the same expression as Sterling. Let me bring him. Alright, so here we have. Let me focus. Here we have Sterling. And as you can see, they are pretty much the same. Yeah, they are pretty much the same mold. Both have like the same rims and the same eye expression. I wish they had at least changed the eyes. I think it would have made K Pillar more interesting, but it's not that bad. I mean, uh, they have a different license plate, so that's that's something. Sometimes Mattel just doesn't even change the license plate in some cars. But you can see they are different, so yeah, at least at least it's not in really an exact copy and paste. But yeah, at least the paint scheme looks cool too. So yeah, now we're going to well now um I guess we'll follow with Dollar Anderson, which is. An older car. She she was first released in like 2016, I believe. And yeah, I mean she's she's pretty nice. She's been like peg warming in some parts of the world recently, but not here in Europe because we barely get anything. So yeah, I only see one of her. Um. Yeah. We are going to open her now. Man. So in this year, um, well, I mean last year, cars uh, since then have been pretty hard to open. But yeah, hey, she looks really nice. But yeah, she looks really cool. Here she is next to the king. She's a fan of him, so they look really cool. And here she is next to another race fan, Timothy, who is probably my favorite of the of all of the racing fans. He looks really cool with this like crazy face. But yeah, they look, they look really cool. I think we'll go with McQueen, since, you know, he's not as exciting, since most of you have already seen him. This is basically, this is his 2022 release, they are making a new variant this year, which has a different face, which I hope I can find it. I don't think I'll find it in stores now, because for some reason, my stores only get cars uh, for the holiday season, 
and then they are like completely gone from shelves or they only have like a couple peg warmers that I already have so it's like bruh I always have to get all the stuff online but yeah oh, here he is he looks really cool he, looks really good. he has the uh, the radiator springs here logo on the road and uh, the lightning mode that fades into red and 95 there in focus you can see it it's tiny but it's there yeah he looks pretty cool here he is next to the car stream queen wait I'm having trouble with the focusing but you can see they have pretty much the wait huh the math is different Oh, then he he has the same model as Fabulous McQueen, which has this mouth. I think I prefer this design. It looks more like McQueen usually does, but at the same time, I like this one too. Uh, I don't know. Tell me which one you like more. I think I prefer the Cars 3 one because it's more classic now. I guess we go with uh, we go with Griswold because he's like a copy and paste of uh, bill reps but with other stuff man these uh, these things are like hard to open i thought that when they flip to these like molded bubble i thought that cars would get like destroyed easier but i think they are safer this way <laughs> Because when they had like the the like double bubble that rhymes, but yeah, when when it was like a rectangle, sometimes you I would see cars like ripped open in the stores, and this part would like fall, and they would have to like put like some something to stick it back on the cardboard, and it was like. Sometimes it got really terrible in stores. In 2019, it was like a plague of little kids stealing cars. Like, literally. The only few cars I saw in stores that I would have bought, they were like stolen by little kids. So that was really annoying. But yeah, here we have Griswold. And man, this one's really cool. Even if it's like really similar, about the same as Bill Rips, but. Yeah, I like the expression. She has like these muddy tires. And the camera here. And light here and microphone. And another mini light here. And this like really nice smile. And the the logo here, let me focus on the logo. Cryptid Hunter Cryptid Hunter, yeah But I don't know what the last C stands for uh, I don't know <laughs> Yeah, he has the little box here Which um, It's like Ben Ben's box. So yeah, now let's compare him to Bill Rabs and are they the same? No, they are actually not the same. This one's like more of a more like cool orange. This one's like more of a skin color. And they are they have the same eye color and different mouths, so that's pretty cool. This one doesn't have headlights, this one does, so this one's cool. The speed demon is pretty light. Like it, it weighs the same as like a Hot Wheels, or even less. And Hot Wheels are like smaller, kind of crazy. But I love how shiny the Speed Demon looks. One of the few cars we've gotten in so long that has like a lot of chrome. Oh, Ooh. 
Wow, she's light. And the wings are loose. Is that supposed to be this way? I don't know. The wings are kind of loose. But she's light. Damn. Like. Like, I don't know. Look, my queen is. My queen is actually you know, super heavy compared to this guy. Or oh, this girl, actually. She looks really cool. She's got like all this chrome. Man, shiny. Really shiny. She, she looks really cool, but I don't have really anything to compare her to. Like, she looks really cool. Yeah. Now let's get to this guy. Which would be like way much cooler if he didn't have like this terrible looking tires like they ruined the selfless racers in like if they had like at least left some of the regular tire color that would have been looked cool like on Griswold you can see it still has some black of the tire but no here they went like full like snow mode or something I've waited to open these guys for so long, like, I've had them in the closet, just sitting there. <laughs> yeah, so he's really cool, he's like a Volkswagen Beetle, but he's modified to race in the soft flat, so that's really cool. What does this say? Olas 523A N Y C five two three A some random numbers like does this have any secret meaning like some password to the to the Pixar uh, computers here we have the the engine which reminds me a lot of sign of I believe it Shifty Sidewinder from the Radiator Springs 500 and a half short from like 2013 or something. I got him for Christmas like when I was like 7 or 8 years old. Good old days when I would still see like uh, a lot of cars in stores and stuff. Now I barely see anything. Annoying screeching sound. And now I guess we can get into the big thing. This thing is huge. It comes with this, these two things. This, this is the wheel. You just put it here and you press. Boom. Now you have the tire too. And then you have the tail which you just press it there. Man, it's kind of rough. Ah, uh, no. All right. Well, here we have a dinosaur, and man, it looks cool. This I never. This is the last thing I would have expected ever as a kid. If you had told me, if you told five-year-old me back in 2010 that the Cars franchise would go this direction, <laughs> I uh, I would have like laughed at you so hard, like, man. Well, now it's time to eat cars. You basically press this button and then it goes like, and then you can eat Lightning Queen. Ooh, almost. Eat Lightning Queen. Now you just take him, you put him here, and uh, boom, no more McQueen. Ethan McQueen. I 
And now you can spit McQueen. Blah. Eating McQueen, spitting McQueen. Yum. Yeah.